From the end of the 1700s to the late 1800s, a long-haul preacher's horse was his home, carrying the bare minimum in personal property to make room for treasured texts. If you think about people living on the edges and the margins of the developing country, the circuit rider carrying books to the ends of the earth that represented the public dialogue or the religious dialogue really as a means to how to find out what the rest of the world was thinking was really a very important thing. Early evangelists carried hymnals, prayer books, and sermon texts, says church historian the Reverend Alfred Day. In his saddlebag, you know, he would have carried copies of the Methodist discipline for sale. That might seem strange to us, like, wow, who's going to sit down and read the discipline? You would get comments on how to go visiting a friend, and then you could read one of Wesley's sermon on grace, and so it, it was useful. Uh, it was actually interesting. <laughs> also popular was John Wesley's Primitive Physic, a practical book of home remedies compiled by Methodism's founder, and Graces Before Meat, which included prayers before meals, written by John Wesley. Books were designed to fit in a coat pocket or purse, to be used in church meetings, and taken home for daily devotions. Church archivist Dale Patterson holds an 1813 Methodist hymnal. One. It's just the words. There's no music. We were encouraged to know a certain number of tunes, and most of the hymns would go with those tunes. It's also very small print. I pity the poor person who had to typeset this. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.